With a hug from his wife, Terry, Dalton McGinty caps a shocker of an evening. Surprise resignations come with two explanations. The one from the politician about family. For McGinty, it was the recent marriage of his daughter. I thought it wasn't going to be that big a deal. You know, they've been dating for 13 years. And less charitable assessments from opponents. They didn't want to stay here uh, and deal with the unfolding scandal uh, that was uh, happening with the, the gas plants. For goodness sakes, if you're going to hang up the skates, Dalton McGinty, don't force the rest of us to take a holiday. Let's continue to work. The truth, as always, lies in between. Under attack in the House over gas plant documents. Clearly, all the documents were not delivered, Mr. Speaker. And the target of teachers' fury. McGinty has bought his party time by proroguing the House. This is an important opportunity for us to engage in a cooling off period. With pesky questions about power plants now shelved, McGinty can get to work repairing the alliance with Labour. A negotiated settlement is far better for us than a, than a legislative settlement. And particularly since we know waiting in the wings, of course, is, is Tim Hudai. McGinty says his chances in the next election are not the issue. It has nothing to do with that and everything to do with a decision that Terry and I have made. What it is also about is repairing the Liberal coalition with Labour. <laughs> he may not be on the ballot next time, but winning for Liberals will now rest on the job McGinty does in his final months as Premier. Of course, the other question over the timing of Mr. McGinty's announcement is, will he seek the federal liberal leadership? He was asked numerous times about that at his press conference, only answering that, quote, I have no plans, unquote, which translated from political speak into English means, I am not answering your question. Leslie? <laughs> Great insight as always. Thank you, Alan.